Hi guys, this is Debbie with Wrestling in 60 Seconds, bringing you the eight, the ROH Media Scrum last night from Supercard. Uh, Tony first brought out Shibata. Shibata stated that he is not signed with ROH. He is working with uh, ROH and Tony chimed in and stated that ROH has a long history of working with New Japan. He only wants to continue that type of history with New Japan. Um, Nakasawa was translating for Shibata and one of the interesting things I thought that Shibata said was that he wants to work as much as possible with Tony Khan. He wants to work different places, different arenas, and he said, and I quote, a wrestler's dream is to show the dream to the fans, which I thought that was really good hindsight. He will be on ROH this coming week and AEW. Mark Briscoe, um, Tony brought out Mark Briscoe. He said that after 23 years of working as a tag team with his brother, Jay, that, um, this was a new journey for me. And if you happen to catch the uh, pay-per-view last night when Mark Briscoe versus Che, I mean, uh, Joe, Samoa Joe, um, at one point, Mark goes to the corner like he's getting ready to tag him in. Uh, Mark's entire family was there at ringside. It was very emotional. Um, but he lost. And um, the other thing that they brought out, which was really hard, uh, was the ladder match. And um, that is where Dante Martin uh, actually broke his leg. And um, when... The Lucha Brothers got their new belts. Mark came out with the old belts. And <clears throat> everybody was getting emotional, including me. Uh, the kingdom was tearing up. Um, FTR showed up and was hugging everybody. And I didn't, didn't realize that today marks the day that the Briscoe Brothers won the belts from FTR. Yeah. And during the uh, media scrum, Mark also said that Jay died the day before his birthday and that he never feels like he has ever left him. He's just somewhere else. And Tony kind of agreed with him. And he said it, it you know, he mentioned what I had just said how when he was wrestling Samoa Joe he went to that corner to tag his brother and he's not there and he said that it's a new journey for him to do singles and trios but he doesn't want to do tag teams and I can understand that you know um, his entire family was there and so <clears throat> you have to excuse me it, it was a very an emotional thing um, the other thing is Tony brought out, uh, Claudio Castagnoli and Claudio, uh, addressed the media. Um, the first thing that was brought up to him and which was at the very end of the pay-per-view is at the end of the match of Claudio versus Eddie Kingston. Um, once the match is over. Eddie Kingston gets up. He wants a rematch. He starts using bad words. And Claudio stated in the media scrum that he didn't believe that that's what a champion would do. You know, that's not the kind of things that a ch champion would have said if he had won the belt. Has, really, has Eddie really changed? I don't know. He said that he was not interested in giving him a rematch. And of course, you know, um, they said that the two don't get along. They have a working relationship, but they don't get along. The other thing um, I want to make mention to you is Brian Cage. Um, 
Tony said that he hopes that he'll stay with the company. Um, but Brian Cage's contract is up. He had extended it to the point where he would be on the pay-per-view last night. But what happens after the pay-per-view, I don't know. I hope he stays with the ROH. I think him and the Embassy make a great trios team. I want to thank you for watching, subscribing. Sorry that this is so long. It's hard to condense over two hours and six minutes. And as always, bye for now.